Hi there. Aren't you pretty? Oh my goodness. Look at that white chest. We think we're coming up to the watering station and services, so we may have to um, wait our turn. We stopped for lunch at the canal turn on our way up to Churchfield. This is at Carnforth. Yummy. Uh, we got um, ham sandwiches with salad and coleslaw. Mm. And I got a pint of Timothy Taylor's bolt maker. And Carol got uh, a Gordon's gin with uh, elderflower tonic water, which she really likes. So, and we've got Tilly right, Tilly right under the table. Chilling. Just chilling, aren't you, Till? She was just chilling. <laughs> Can I call her? And we've got Liberty board right next to us so we can keep an eye on things and we're waiting to use the water point which is just on the other side and we've got towpath which we really enjoy it's like walking the gold a bit but you're just going to stay there all right, kids. I see you. For our friends and family that aren't boaters, we have a CRT license, a Canal and River Trust license that we pay for annually, and that gives us access to water and uh, trash facilities and uh, being able to empty our toilet and also being able to use the showers. We provide our own hoses so everybody has their own hose which we connect and then we fill the water tank in the boat. Hello wolves. You guard in the water. You guard in the water. Hey, come on then. So I'm going into a CRT facility and I'm going to have a shower. I am wearing my flip-flops, naturally. And uh, let's see what we've got here. So once you close the door, you have quite a large space here. You're going to turn on the shower feed. That will allow the water through. There's places to hang your things, books, and there's a seat if you want to sit anything on it. And then you just come straight over here and you just press this button. Well, you try to press it. If you're like me, you struggle a bit. Now, you've got nice hot water. And it was so hot that I was steaming up this shower. Anyway, it's, it's quite nice. You recommend you wear uh, flip-flops or something to keep your feet off the floor. And just like you would in a gym. But it's a, it's a good facility. And I can't complain because I could wash my hair. And it feels really good. It was really all right and the water was wonderful, nice and hot. Oh, you're gonna love it. On the return journey, I was relieved to see all of the signets on the canal side of the towpath. I didn't get that same sense of impending doom as I walked past. We're just going through Carnforth. It's pleasant enough. Um, it's a little bit shallow on the on the towpath side for mooring, so we we did try to find a mooring just past the water point, just past the CRT services point, but. Um, you could hear, hear Liberty traveling along the bottom, so 
we turned out of that situation and we're going to head further north. I also would like to be a little bit more in the open. We didn't get a very good mobile phone signal where we were at Bolton the Sands. So we would like to find somewhere where we, we get a much better signal because we like to be able to watch YouTube in the evenings or uh, Amazon Prime movies, that kind of stuff. So we need, we need a fairly decent signal and that means usually being a little bit more of an open area and that will also help our solar panels it's just stuff that you have to think about there's a lot of moorings under trees and they're very nice and the shade and if you're going to get too hot that would be perfect but with solar panels you really want lots of sunshine for them you don't often get the chance to sit down when you're steering but uh, sometimes when the canal's quiet, like today, and you've got a good view ahead, you can get the chance to give your legs a break. This is bridge 128. It's a nice bridge, a really unusual design with this double arch. Both of the arches have different diameters or radii or whatever you want to call them. But it's very, very cool and the stonework is just beautiful. Well, very helpfully, I've left my walkie talkie right down the opposite end of the boat. You can see it down there by the chimney, that yellow and black object. So if Carol's trying to contact me, she's just going to be contacting herself. Yes, you're completely invisible. We can't see you at all. going so slow that we're letting people pass us. See the boat dog on the roof? He's got the best seat in the house. Or on the house. So that was a nice little interchange. I just pulled over to let these two boats go past me. And they're not going very fast. They're going a bit faster than us because, well, I'm on a holiday. I want to take it easy. Yeah, we really like to crawl along. We probably average about a mile, mile an hour, maybe mile and a half an hour at the most. And we just take in all the sights. The further north we go, the prettier it gets. light at the end of the tunnel. It's so dark my little uh, ball jars lit up, my solar powered ball jars.
This is the Kia Aqueduct. It's a single span aqueduct, 43 feet long, carrying the canal 35 feet above the River Kia. And these fluffy new babies are staying very close to mama. There are actually lovely moorings um, on both sides of the bridge and even further around the corner. The canoes belong to Boric Hall and they use them to take children out of various age groups with um, the adults that work there. Um, and they really seem to have a good time. Lots of laughter. peek through to the gatehouse. It's a pretty cool looking building because it has uh, two chimneys, four finials on the top of the roof that you can see there might be another couple in the back, and then mullioned windows. some prime real estate. Boric Hall actually began as a medieval tower before becoming part of the Elizabethan house around 1590 to 1595. This very grand hall is two stories, made of sandstone with a slate roof and has attics. Most of the windows are mullioned. That was an expensive window treatment back in the day. It's a hall with all the education department buses. This is used by kids. All about outdoor education. Yeah, it's quite a cool place. The 
Still has a telephone in it. And books. To call lift handset. So it looks like it's still working. And it's a little local library. Look at these beautiful houses all the way around here. Yeah, nice cottages in this village. This pretty cottage with all the flowers in the front is called Lattice Cottage. It's the kind of thing you would have seen in Pride and Prejudice. This stone farmhouse was built in 1709, and actually it has a boulder built into it on the right side in the front. All the windows are mullioned, which means divided by stone. It's one of the three grade one listed properties in the village. We'll include a link in the description to give you more information on the various listed buildings in Boric. We hope you enjoyed the video this week and our little explore around Boric. Join us next week as we take three dogs and their obedient humans to explore the northern reaches of the Lancaster Canal. See you soon!